Jumptron. Sorry, I was just uh, fucking around with the books on my shelf and uh, you know, uh, reading the numbers and giggling at him. You know what I'm saying? And look at the time. It's exactly 365 days from the day I put myself in the line of fire. You know, that game was so bad, I didn't think I'd make it through the day. So then comes the lovely gaming sin of backtracking out of desperation. Now, may I remind you, this is the first three minutes of the game! Ah. Human spirit. She is resilient, isn't she? Yeah, here I am a whole year later, still trucking along like a sack of potatoes on a long open road, wishing he'd stop for gas at the last rest stop. And then, on the Interstate 12, he gets hijacked and murdered by a bunch of Quaker ghosts. And had moved on from the War of 1723. Fuck! What even is my purpose? What am I doing here? What am I doing? What is all this shit anyways? It's a bunch of work, please! Bunch of work! I wanna tell you your mom what you did to me! <laughs> Wait. What's that? Could it be? Star Fox Adventures? I thought they burned all these in the great cleansing of Rodrigo Sanchez! <laughs> this game. Some crazy times with this game. You know, most people don't even remember it. I mean, they remember the game, but they don't remember it. No. It's all so clear now. I'm not here for nothing. I'm here to bring these repressed memories back to the masses. I'm here to shed light on the betrayed heart of the man, woman, and the child that have been brushed under the rug like last week's sawdust. It's not right. It's not right! We will never forget. Not while I'm here, we won't! Bro. Like. Holy fucking shit. Just calm down. Like, bro, seriously, do you need a glass of water or something? I don't need water! Well, thank you, that, thanks. What I need is a Nintendo GameCube. Where to begin? Well, I guess let's just start now. Long, long ago, before Rareware made avatars and they were actually a game company. They made some really standout stuff back in the day for the N64, like Banjo-Kazooie and Conker's Bad Fur Day. Man. Some people might have called them the best, but as we all know, even the great must eventually fall. First in a rather lengthy series of blunders was a little GameCube title known as Star Fox Adventures. Stairfax Temperatures was originally a game slated for the N64 under the jaw-droppingly brilliant name Dinosaur Planet. Mmm, suck it in. At some point during the development though, the game shifted from the N64 to the Nintendo GameCube. And then, an amazing thing happened. You see, it all started out when Shigeru was walking around the England one day looking for trouble when he happened to stop by Rare Studios. Upon taking one look at Dinosaur Planet, he was all like, okay, let's see what's going on here. I see how you got a fox. We got a fox, actually. You put him in, he's like, cocky little freak. It's perfect. Rare was stunned by the utter brilliance of this magnificent conclusion. Dinosaur Planet was now to become Stairfax Temperatures. Well, that's enough history lessons for one day. What do you think, Prof Jacques? Those who can't teach. Breach. And those who teach also teach. No. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! He's dead! Ah, just looking at that title screen brings me right back. After all, Star Fox 64 is one of my favorite games of all time, and you know what? It still stands up well today. Everything about it was perfect. The sound effects, the music, the standout and memorable characters, the gameplay, and especially those cheesy one-liners. You've got an enemy on your tail! Pretty smooth flying, Fox. Do a barrel roll! Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side! You're becoming more like your father. Just looking at all this gives me a nostalgia meltdown. It had great replayability too, the kind some games couldn't even hope to achieve. There were branching paths and objectives you had to fulfill to get to the real final boss. Basically, pure gaming bliss. But then, silence. No Star Fox games for nearly five years. Until, you guessed it, Star Fox Adventures. We all saw it in the gaming magazines and yeah, 
we were all pretty fucking excited for it. Finally, another Star Fox game, and not just anyone, one with sweet, cutting-edge graphics coming out for the GameCube made by our favorite company, Rareware. This was gonna be sweet. What could go wrong? All the elements were right. All the fucking planets were aligned in favor of this epic rainbow bombshell. Let's finally dive in and see what we've been missing all our lives. Well, this is it. Here you have it. This is actually the next Star Fox game after Star Fox 64. You start off on a pterodactyl as a blue fox girl speaking in a, well, uh, you decide what it is. You know, I've got to hand it to them. I've really got to hand it to them. They did it. Rareware trolled the entire planet with one fell swoop. And don't give me any of that bullshit, this was Nintendo's decision. And this was also Nintendo's decision. This was also Nintendo's decision. Not to mention, here's another decision by Nintendo. You say no. No, like you're talking to a dog and just peed on your rug. No, artistic integrity is important. In fact, it might just be omni-important, okay? I just, I just put omni in front of that shit. That's how important it is. Okay, okay, whatever. Maybe it'll get better from here on out. Can't judge a book by its cover, unless it's fucking like stuff on my cat, because I think you're pretty much getting the, you know, the entire experience right there. So to recap, you start off the game not as Fox McCloud, but as a Blue Boobs McFurry Dream, also known as Crystal. Some sort of fox lady that speaks some sort of stupid language they made up. I always find that to sound so foolish, too, whenever they do that in movies or games. I don't know why, it just sounds so stupid. <laughs> Moak. The best part though is that every now and then they just say something in English. General Scales! I mean why? That's so stupid! It just it's just laughably stupid to a ridiculous degree! If you're gonna go so far in depth that you actually create a language for your game, why even do that? I don't get what the what the reason could possibly be, because we're fucking stupid? Anyways, she gets off the ship and reaches uh Krizoa Palace. Krizoa Palace! Yeah, that place. Up here, there are dinosaurs everywhere, all dying and shit. Maybe she should have brought some talent on or something. Probably gonna help, you know? You know, for dinosaurs on the verge of death, they sure give some good tutorials. But you start to notice something a little funny. These controls are just Zelda controls. Instead of mortally wounding a bunch of dinosaurs just to have a tutorial level, they probably should have just had some guy standing around going, Hey, you ever played Ocarina of Time? Alright, you should be fine. I'm gonna go play his harpsichord. <laughs> What's this? It appears Blue Tits has found something. Oh man, and she's fucking happy about it. So happy she's looking above it. Oh, looks like, uh, Puck Puck eggs. Huh. Oh, cool, not to worry. They're not dinosaur eggs. <laughs> looks like everyone's safe. Oh, wait a second, they come from Puck Puck birds? Hold up, it's not cool that they're dinosaur eggs, but since they're bird eggs, it's fine? What kind of fucked up shit is that? Bro, the fuck is that? Oh, hey, Jacques, I thought you died. Man, now this is gameplay. You get a barrel, you run with said barrel, you throw barrel a given thing, you run back, you get another barrel. Rinse and repeat. Fun fact, distance gets longer each time. You know my favorite part of Star Fox 64 was? Throwing barrels at the jellyfish from King Jabu Jabu's belly. Pretty much sums up the experience. So you go even farther into Krasawa Palace. Run through some fire, because who gives two fucks? Doesn't even hurt you and your million health. And you get to every fox's greatest theater. A mini game for six-year-olds. You know what? You know what I just realized? The Mario Party minigame of this is harder. Yeah, something's wrong there. Wait, wait, what's that? Is, the, is that Star Fox music I hear? Oh my god, no, is it really happening? Oh, 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 oh god, oh god, is that Slippy? Oh, oh my, oh my god, it was terrible. Oh, oh no, what the fuck is that? Well, I guess at least Fox is finally in the game. Maybe the intro was just trying to, you know, ease us into this. Perhaps now we'll get to experience the pure virgin GameCube Star Fox adventure. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah, I'm in a spaceship! Oh, oh, are, are we going into all range mode? Oh, hell yeah, Peppy! Oh my god, tell me, tell me do a barrel roll. Oh, 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 oh. That was it? Well, that wasn't even as good as the one on the N64. It was just a straight shot, and there, 
There wasn't even really any variety. Like, where are we now? Like, more dinosaurs? Are you sure? Okay. I'll translate for you. Okay, General. But what about a weapon? Why couldn't I bring my blaster? Yeah. Yeah, why couldn't he bring his blaster? I want to use his blaster, you know, like Super Smash Brothers. Okay, so I guess just we're going to walk around and talk to more dinosaurs then. Instead of using any blasters that may be in or around this area, I am... Um, um, what is going on? What is going on? Why would someone do this? Why would somebody do this? There's another person. I'm really human. I'm really human. I love it. Well, at least we're playing as Fox now, I guess. But you know when you want something, and then you get it, and you're not really sure what it is you even wanted in the first place. Yeah. That. Oh, yeah. Look at that climb. It's sexy. Put it to music. One thing this game does that just ruins everything for me is it uses those stock royalty-free sound effects for, like, everything! It just takes you right out of the game. And why would the mushroom be making the sound that's the sound that the fucking imps make from Doom? Oh, hey, check it out. Something. That's more than anything else we've accomplished thus far. Well, I guess Fox just knows how to use a stick thing. And he's not scared by floating heads. So you go and be Ricky Winterborn for a while and you beat the race and launch off this cliff. And this is the longest fall ever. And now you got this little dino fuck following you around. And I don't know, he wants blue mushrooms or some shit because he's bored as fuck being in his game. He just wants to get high. Hey, I don't blame him. That's right. It was your mother that sent me to find you. Is she okay? She'll be just fine. Oh the man, really? No. I've never cared so little about anything in my life. Here, little fella, let me just put this mushroom in your knee so you can get your fix. Perfect. Here, just come here, Tricky. I just want to show you something. That's right. This is really where the game starts to take a turn for the worse. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was already pretty bad. But at least before, you could go through the game without a baby Triceratops stapled to you! That was pretty good before! See, it's all about perspective, this whole life thing. It's like, oh, I got stabbed with a sword, but hey, that guy got stabbed with two swords. Man, my life's not so bad. That's pretty much what this whole game is. It's like, it's just like, hey, remember when you could play the game and didn't have to feed a baby dinosaur mushrooms? Lol, that was awesome, wasn't it? Why don't you just go back and play that part? Here, I'll clear the save file for you. So I guess I'll just try to get through this. I'll just keep going. Okay, so Tricky's digging a hole and wait. Wait, what's that? A bath, a buffon, bath, a buffon, dad? What is this? And why is it in my Star Fox game now? No, that it! I can't think anymore! If one more fucking woolly man has been anything up to double gang plus, I think I'm a friend! I'm in a wonderland in Thorntail Hollow Gotta get past the snoozing dino Make him do those stock sound effects Cause who gives a shit? No one's playing this anyways Chasing the bugs to buy the things Cause I was chasing bugs to buy the things in Star Fox General Scales is the meanest he throws blue towels, I mean foxes, I meant that she was a fox. Where is Falco? He was awesome, oh, and I was just a dick, and that is why they removed him. But that's not so cool, you can't kick King K. Rool, cause he's mean and he's green, but they did in Dark Out Country Returns, they replaced with wood. Hitting mushrooms, falling knee deep into the The best cars are mine, but you do not answer. You fear the truth. You fear true salvation. It is your time, true and bold. God has come to wait for the sinners. Second to light and cleanses you. 
your best, Star Fox Adventures, but I guess your best just wasn't good enough. You know, they may have screwed it up. This may be canon forever, and they might be the reason there really hasn't been another Star Fox game since. But heck, as far as this old internet so-and-so is concerned, there's really only one Star Fox game that holds true in my heart. That's just fine. Don't ask for me? Well, <laughs> I think I've got it all sorted out. I'll be here just where I've always been, doing just what I've always done. Loving me some video games. Nice having y'all. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Oh, and there will be a next time. Shut up, bird! It's been a whole year, and you know, it's gonna be two or three in two, one year, because that's how time works. Sincerity makes me nauseous, but thanks guys for watching my show. Thanks, Barry. Thanks, George. You guys really help me. What? <laughs> 